हेलो एवरीबॉडी अ वेरी वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू वन एंड ऑल हेलो एवरीबॉडी अ वेरी वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू वन एंड ऑल दिस इज अंकित शर्मा योर मेंटर फॉर रीजनिंग एबिलिटी एंड आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू इन दिस एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट सेशन एट द वन एंड ओनली एग्जाम पर माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स द सुप्रीम कोर्ट जेसीए वैकेंसी वर रिलीज द लास्ट डेट टू अप्लाई फॉर इट इज ओवर so obviously if you have not applied now you cannot apply again but for those who have applied a large number of applicants are there because it is having a good pay scale also okay it is having a good pay scale great pay i am talking about so obviously and yes since it is the supreme court is in delhi so your work location is confined to delhi okay the working conditions and all are superb okay and a work life balance can be easily maintained that is the most important thing so now how to prepare for it obviously in the supreme court jc exam prime focus is there on english language be it uh, mcq based questions or be it descriptive questions because the court language is primarily in english okay but still reasoning and maths are also important because also 25 questions will be coming from reasoning and maths combined okay okay so it is named as aptitudes uh, collectively reasoning and maths so now we will solve questions of all types we will solve the questions of all types to make you completely exam ready because and why this is required why this is important because this is not a regular exam if this would have been a regular exam we would be knowing that what type of questions comes in the exam what are the level of questions what are the variety of questions that is not known very easily because this is not a regular exam so we will solve questions of all types from everywhere from everywhere all right so now let us start let us discuss some of the most important questions we will not cover any single topic but it would be a mix of all the other topics now have a look at this the thought of the day the thought of the day is raise your words not your voice it is the rain that grows flowers and not the thunder all right everybody and not the thunder so the point over here is that whenever you are in any argument or the, or any debate or any discussion always increase the level of your words always increase the level of your words level of your words not the volume of your words increase the level of your arguments the quality of your support the quality of discussion and that is ultimately what is going to help you in the long run and with these words let us start my dear students with the very first question time starts quickly everyone hurry up time starts quickly i would be giving you 1 minute to solve the question i would be giving you 1 minute to solve the question hurry up quickly okay i will give you one more minute and then we will start just one more minute and then we will start okay Come on guys hurry up
Time is up. Time is up. Now kindly pay attention. The question is telling that there are seven people whose names are given. They are sitting around a circular table facing inward. Now facing inward. Now P sits third to the right of S. Suppose here is S. P sits one, two, and third to the right of S. Okay. P sits third to the right of S and second to the left of Q. I repeat. P sits 1, 2 and 3rd to the right of S and 2nd to the left of Q. There is one person sitting between S and T from the right of S. Now it's very clear there is one person sitting between S and T from the right of S. U sits to the immediate left of S. U sits to the immediate left of S. Okay. R sits 3rd to the right of O. R sits 3rd to the right of O. Over here 1, 2 and 3rd right it is not possible. Over here 1, 2 and 3rd right R is possible. R sits 3rd to the right of O. Are you getting this diagram? Are you all getting this diagram? Yes or no? Now, how many people are there between S and P? Now, the number of people between S and P, okay. Now, the number of people between S and P are 2, 2 only. But 2 and 3 are, is three is also available. So, the answer will be an option which says both 2 or 3. Both 2 or 3. Because the number of people between S and P from the right of S are 2. From the left of S are 3. So, the right answer is both 2 or 3. So, answer should be such an option which says... Uh, both B and C, both B and C option, both B and C option, 2 as well as 3. Getting it? Getting it? Next. Now the same thing, see, R, P, T, Q, O, U, S, R, P, T, Q, O, U, S, okay, fine. Next, which of the following is sitting to the immediate left of Q? Immediate left of Q is R, immediate left of Q is R and therefore the correct answer is option number C, that is R. Next, who is at immediate left of S. Who is at immediate left of S? It's U. Answer is option number D, that is U. Now, how many persons are there between U and P when counted from the right of P? How many persons are there between U and P when counted from the right of P are 1 and 2? 1 and 2, alright? So, the correct answer is option number B, that is 2. Next, which of the following is sitting third to the right of R? So, third to the right of R is 1, 2 and 3 and therefore, the right answer, the correct answer is which of the following is second to the right of R. Sorry, second to the right of R is U. Second to the right of R is U. The correct answer is option number A, that is U. Getting it? Yes or no? Come on, guys. Just show your presence. Just write hi, hello, write anything. Okay. Please like the session. Please share the session. Okay. Next question. Now, this one. How many people are there between S and R? How many people are there? Okay, okay. Solve this question. Solve this question. Two minutes. 2 minutes to solve this. Hurry up. 2 minutes to solve this particular question. Just wait guys, one more minute, one more minute, quickly everyone solve it, solve it quickly. Quickly everyone, hurry up. Yes. Hurry up everyone. 
Okay. Now see my dear students. If I go through this, that how to solve this, it is telling you six persons, six persons names are given. They attend the dance class on 11th and 22nd of September, October, November. Okay. September, October, November, 11th and 22nd. Now see, the first para always talks of the basic structure of the question. The first para always talks of the basic structure of the question. Okay. Now, the next thing my dear students, here we go. S attends the class in the month having 30 days. S attends the class in the month having 30 days. Fine. So that means S cannot be in the month of October. Next, two persons attend the class after R. If two persons attend the class after R, one and two, it is fine. Now, only two people attend the class between R and S. Only two people, one and two people attend the class between R and S. Fine, fine. G attends the class three days after F. G attends the class three days after F. So, F one day after, two day after, three days after. So, G attends the class three days after F. And now, E attends the class immediately before F. E attends the class immediately before F. So, now my dear students, E and F consecutively. E and F consecutively and then 1, 2 and G. 1, 2 and G. So, who is left out? R, S, T, E, F, G. R, S, T, okay, E, F, G. This is the diagram. S, E, F, R, T, G. S, E, F, R, T, G. How many people are there between S and R? So, between S and R, two people are there. Between S and R, two people are there. Then that is the right one. Isn't it? Fine. Yes, yes. Both Prakash, yes. Okay. S, E, F, R, T, G. S, E, F, R, T, G. Which of the following is sitting immediately below E? Immediate. Okay. Which of the following is sitting immediately below E? See, immediately below E is who? Immediately below E is F. Immediately below E is F, no? So, right answer is option number C, that is F. Okay? Immediately below E. Okay? Let me see. See, this is wrong. This is wrong. Which of the following is immediately below E? Immediately below E is F. See this way. See this way, guys. Okay? Now, the next thing. Now, the next thing. Here we go. Who is immediately above G? Immediately above G is who? Immediately above G is as you can see, T. My dear students, immediately above G, this is the correct one. Immediately above G is T. Immediately above G is T. Okay, everyone. Now, here we go. So, this is T. Option number D, that is T. Next, how many people are there between S and G? How many people between S and G? 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Answer is option number D, that is 4. Option number D, that is 4. All right. Fine. This is an English medium. This is an English medium, guys. Which of the following is sitting exactly between T and S? Exactly between T and S is F. Exactly between T and S is F. Option number B, that is F. All right, everyone. Fine. Next question. Solve this one two minute. Solve this one two minute. Hurry up. Quickly, everyone. Hurry up. Quickly. Next one minute. Next one minute. Hurry up.
Hurry up! Now, now the next thing, my dear students. Hurry up! Quickly. Okay. Now see my dear students. Very very important. See my dear students. Very very important. Now the point is very simple. Now I will solve this question for you. And now you will be able to understand this. See my dear students. How to solve this? How to solve this? Yes both Prakash. I am listening to you. I am listening to you. See there are seven people the, whose names have been given. And they all live in a building with seven floors. Seven people are there, they all live in a building. Okay, seven people are there, they all live in a building with seven floors, but not necessarily in the same order. Okay, seven people in a building with seven floors, but not necessarily in the same order. Okay, so now let us solve this. So, the first para always talks about the basic structure of the question. Okay, the first para always talks about the basic structure of the question. Now, here we start. D lives on the ground floor. D lives on the ground floor. F lives on an even numbered floor which is divisible by 3. F lives on an even numbered floor which is divisible by 3. 3 persons live between F and G. 1, 2 and 3, G. 3 persons live between F and G. G lives immediately uh, below A. G lives immediately below A. Fine. Fine everybody. G lives immediately below A. Now the next thing my dear students. G lives immediately below A. After that, as many people live above D as below C, as many people live above D as below C and now B lives on the prime numbered floor, B lives on the prime numbered floor. So, who is left? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So, this is the diagram, this is the diagram. So, how many people are there between D and F? How many people between D and F? 1, 2, 3 and 4. The right answer is option number D that is 4. Right answer is option number D that is 4. Alright. So, how many people are there between D and F? Number of people between D and F is 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay, option D that is 4. So, C, F, B, E, A, G, D. C, F, B, E, A, G, D. Okay. Now, who is immediately above F? Immediately above F is C. Immediately above F is C. Next, which of the following is sitting exactly between E and G? Exactly between E and G is A. A. Answer is option number D that is A. Next, which of the following is sitting immediately below E? Immediately below E is A. Immediately below E is A. Right answer is option number A that is A. Clear? Fine everyone. Next my dear students. Who lives on the third floor? The one who lives on the third floor is A. And therefore the right answer is option number C that is A. Alright everyone. Now solve this one. Solve this question of syllogism. Okay. Solve this question of syllogism. Quickly everyone hurry up. Quickly. Okay, everyone, no book is a stone, some stone, stone is stopped. So, no book is a soft is can't say because soft we can draw in this way also. Some book is soft can't say. So, now here either or will prevail, either or because some book is soft, no book is soft, 
either or condition will be there all right everyone next solve this one please solve this one hurry up quickly hurry up hurry up see some printers or coolers both prakash rajiv jai hind welcome now see my dear students some printers are coolers some printers are coolers no cooler is a telephone some printers are cooler no cooler is a telephone and all machines are telephone all machines are telephone okay now some printers or machine can't say no direct relation no machine is a cooler no machine is a cooler is definitely true because machine is within telephone which is not cooler so therefore this right answer is only second follows option number b only second follows all right everyone next solve this one quickly solve this one hurry up yes i think that i am audible now i think that i am audible now okay all white is blue all white is blue some blue is yellow all white is blue some blue is yellow and no yellow is gray no yellow is gray now only a few white is yellow only a few white is yellow means there is some part of white which is yellow and some which is not it is not necessarily true because as of now there is no white which is yellow and if i would have drawn yellow in this manner then some part of white will be yellow and some will be not okay but this is overall can't say now some gray being blue some gray being blue is can't say some gray being blue is can't say okay it is can't say why because as of now gray is not blue but if i would have drawn blue in this manner then some gray would have been blue so some gray is blue is can't say anything which is can't say plus possibility is true and therefore the right answer is option number b the right answer is option number b okay next solve this one solve this one quickly everyone hurry up quickly hurry up quickly everyone okay now see only a few feasts are vulture only a few feasts are vulture only a few feasts are vulture and then only a few feasts are cards only a few feasts are cards and no vulture see this is vulture okay this is vulture okay and now no vulture is a wag no vulture is a wag okay everyone no vulture is a wag now some wag are feasts can't say some wags are feasts can't say some feasts are cards some feasts are cards definitely true definitely true okay some feasts are cards is definitely true option number b only second follows because it is telling only a few feasts are cards means what there is some part of feast which is card and some which is not all right option number b see please respond with full energy guys come on next please solve this one see f is greater than k opposite symbol between f and k opposite symbol means opposite side facing okay so can't say between k and n opposite symbol between k and n so can't say so therefore the right answer to the question is none of them follows none of them follows getting it everyone next before we move ahead my dear students please have a look at this these are your faculty members 
हु आर ट्राइंग एवरी डे वेरी हार्ड टू हेल्प यू हाउ दे आर ट्राइंग टू हेल्प यू रेगुलर क्लासेस so if as you all are aware that ssc cpo notification is out so if you want to prepare and that to in total english this is exclusively for you exclusively for all of you okay from morning 8 am monday to friday till 1 noon 12 noon class will start it will get over at 1 pm and then if you want to prepare for supreme court junior court assistant after one come over here and attend these classes back to back totally english not even a word will be in hindi okay so be regular to get quality content and best delivery over there next over here over here now see between a and c between a and c this as well as this will ensure a is greater than or equal to c a is greater than or equal to c so either or case will appear either or case will be there okay answer is option number c next b is greater than e B is greater than E. Opposite symbol between B and D can't say. Between D and C, this will ensure D is less than C. D is less than C, so it is true. Answer is option number B. Only second is true. Only second is correct. Now, see, my dear students, have a look at this. Have a look at this over here. If you look at this, my dear students, between L and P, this will ensure L is greater than P, so it's true. And between O and R. Opposite symbols between O and R can't say so. Therefore, the right answer is only one follows. Only one follows. All right, getting it, everyone? Yes or no? Next one. Say between Y and T, my dear students. This will ensure opposite symbols, so can't say. And between T and J, again opposite symbols can't say. So both are not follows. Means none follows. None follows. All right. Next one. Quickly solve this one. Hurry up. Three six one four seven two nine. Three six one four seven two nine. Okay. All right. Okay, now see, my dear students, have a look at this. How many pairs of digits are there in this number? How many pairs of digits are there in this number? Each of which has as many digits between them in both forward and backward order. Now see, my dear students, let us check in forward order from three, four, five, six, seven. Then here also see between three, four, five, six, seven. And then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So two pairs are there: three, seven, three, nine. Also in backward order, three and one. It is also one pair. So three pairs are already there. Now next, see from six forward order: seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Backward: five, four, five, four. And then three, two. From six, five, four, and then five, four, three, two. So six, two is also one pair. So already five pairs. Already five pairs. So this is gone. Next, my dear students, from one, from one, two. Three, four, five. No, from four, five, six, seven. No, from seven, eight, nine, eight, nine. Okay, everyone. And therefore, the right answer to the question, as you can see, is. Let me check again. Seven, nine. Anything other than this? Anything other than this? Okay. Let me check again. Let me check again in a more clear manner. Okay. Three, six, one. Four seven two nine. Three six one four seven two nine. Let me check again. The forward order means. One to infinity. Backward order means backwards. Okay, infinity to one. So from three, zero can also be there. From three forward order, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So three and seven, three and nine. Three and seven, three and nine. From three in backward order, two and one. So three and one. From six in forward order, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, five, four. Okay, five, four, and then. Three two, okay. Then from one, two, three, four, five. No, from four, three two, three two, okay. 
then from 4 uh, 5 6 7 5 6 7 no from 7 6 5 8 9 yes 8 9 so there are 1 2 3 4 7 pairs 7 pairs so the right answer will be more than 6 more than 6 all right everyone more than 6 next solve this one hurry up solve this one a question of blood relation a question of blood relation quickly everyone Okay, now see, my dear students, there are eight members in a family of three generations. I should repeat, there are eight members in a family of three generations. Okay, so now the members of the family are three. Now the members of the family are three, okay. Now the members of the family are eight. Generations are three. So there are eight members in a family of three generations. And also the question is telling that there are how many couples? See, there are eight members in a family of three generations in which there are two married couples. There are two married couples. Okay. Now, P is the grandfather of Q. Okay. P is the grandfather of Q. Is the grandfather of Q. This is done. Now, after P is the grandfather of Q, look for interconnecting line. Q is the only daughter of M. Q is the only daughter of M. Okay. Now, if Q is the only daughter of M, after that, M is the daughter-in-law of C. M is the daughter-in-law of C. Now, see, very important. Now, two things can happen. Two things can happen. M is the daughter-in-law of C can be in this manner. Or M is the daughter-in-law of C can be there in this manner. Two things can be there. So now I will repeat uh, uh, repeat it again. P is the uh, P is the grandfather of Q. M is the daughter-in-law of C. Now the next thing. A is the child of R. Okay. Now Q is the only daughter of M. Q is the only daughter of M. Fine. And P is not married to N. P is not married to N. Fine. P cannot be married to N. Okay. Next thing, O is the daughter of N who is married to R's father. O is the daughter of N. Okay, fine. O is the daughter of N. So, how should we do this? How should we do this, guys? How to make O is the daughter of N? Yes, quickly tell me. How to make O is the daughter of N? Any way of doing that? Any way of ensuring that? Quickly tell me. How is that possible? Quickly. Yes, only two lines and the task will be done. Only two lines and the task will be done. Quickly think of it. Almost the thing is done, guys. It's question 26 and after that we have only 14 more questions after this. So quickly tell me, hurry up, what is to be done? Quickly everyone, fine. Now listen to me very carefully. So, the question is telling P is the grandfather of Q, done. M is the daughter-in-law of C. M is the daughter-in-law of C can be in this way or even in this way. O is the daughter of N and who is married to our father. Okay. Now, see, O is the daughter of N. Okay, my dear students. O is the daughter of N. O is the daughter of N. Okay. O is the daughter of N, N who is married to R's father, N who is married to R's father, okay, N who is married to 
ours father okay so my dear students is this what we are getting is this is what we are getting quickly tell me is this is what we are getting okay so now have a look at this now have a look at this my dear students now what we are doing see first of all let us understand the things very easily let us understand the things very easily okay so now what we are going to do what we are going to do things are not being able to club we are not able to club the things no issue no issue at all now see how we will club that very easily now please understand this so what we are going to do is focus now it is telling you that p is the grandfather of q okay now if p is the grandfather of q obviously we will draw p is the grandfather of q will be in this manner now after p is the grandfather of q my dear students it is telling you q is the only daughter of m q is the only daughter and only daughter of whom only daughter of m next my dear students it is telling you m is the daughter of c m is the daughter in law of c now if m is the daughter in law of c m is married to someone and his father or mother is c okay everyone now o is the daughter of n who is married to r's father o is the daughter of n who is married to r's father o is the daughter of n n is married to r's father n is married to r's father all right fine everyone and why we are doing this because we have to ensure two couples we have to ensure three generations now a is the child of r a is the child of r okay q is the only daughter in law of m sorry q is the only daughter of m and p is not married to n fine this is the right diagram this is the right diagram yes or no yes or no yes or no quickly everyone getting it yes or no guys now let me quickly check let me quickly check my dear students that can we determine the gender of a can we determine the gender of a yes or no so let me check it again eight members in a family of three generations in which there are two married couples one and two p is the grandfather of q m is the daughter in law of c o is the daughter of n n who is married to r and who is married to r's father a is the child of r fine q is the only daughter of m and p is not married to n fine how is p related to m how is p related to m father father option number a father a is gender we cannot determine so now odd one out p r a q p r a q okay p r a q all of them my dear students see now please understand here if you see p r they belong to different different generations okay p r they belong to different different generations but now over here please understand that everyone's gender can be determined except a's gender everyone's gender can be determined except a's gender all right isn't it p is the grandfather of q m is the daughter uh, in law of c o is the daughter of n n who is married to r's father a is the child of r okay and q is the only daughter okay q is the only daughter of m q is the only daughter of m that means this is male q is the only daughter of m that means this is male and now p is not married to n fine 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 it's this person will be male this person will be male now so odd one out p r a q so p is a male okay r is a male a is a male but q is a female so it is the odd one out option number d how is q related to o how is q related to o q is the what niece q is the niece option number b niece of o next solve this one solve this one everyone hurry up how many such numbers are there how many such numbers are there in the above arrangement which are immediately preceded by alphabet and immediately followed by symbol the so symbol number letter 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 symbol okay find only one only one my dear students only one such number is there which is immediately preceded by letter and immediately followed by symbol option number b that is one now 
which of the following element is third to the right of eighth element from the right hand of the series third to the right of eighth element from the right hand of the series means effectively fifth from the right third to the right of whom third to the right of whom the one who is eighth from the right so first we will come to eighth from the right and there we will go to third towards the right so effectively it's fifth from the right so one two three four and five it's and it's and and therefore the right answer is none of these option number d okay next which of the following element is six to the left of third from the right six to the left of whom six to the left of whom the one who is third from the right so which of the following is six to the left of third from the right so first third from the right and from there six left effectively ninth from the right effectively one two three four five six seven eight ninth so that's p that's p answer is option number b that is p all right everyone now how many such symbols are there how many such symbols are there which are immediately preceded by number and immediately followed by vowel symbols preceded by number followed by vowel symbol number 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 vowel no nowhere nowhere answer is option number a none option number a that is none okay next how many elements are there between fourth number from the right hand fourth number from the right hand this is the right hand one two three and fourth number from the right hand and third symbol from the left hand this is the left hand one two and third symbol from the left hand how many elements are there between them how many elements are there between them option number b that is five next solve this one multi-purpose multi-purpose hurry up hurry up How many pairs of letters are there both forward and back, backward order? All right. So now let us see from 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. No, from 13 backward, 12, 11, 10, 9. From 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Okay. So one pair is M and I. Okay. So that means none is gone. Now from 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, no. From 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, no. From 12, 13, 14, 15, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, no. From 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, no. From 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, no. From 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, no. From 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, no. From 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, no. From 16, 17, 18, yes. Okay, P and R. It is gone then. See, between P and R alphabetically, there is one letter. Between P and R alphabetically, there is one letter. In this word also, there is one letter. So, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, no. From 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, no. From 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, no. From 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, no. From 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, no, from 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, no, from 16, 17, 18, 19, and 15, yes, P and O is also there, so this is gone, so now only and only option C can be the right answer, only and only option C can be the right answer, because all the options are eliminated, alright, now, see here also, no, between O and P alphabetically zero letter, so here also zero letter, next, solve this one, hurry up, Quickly. Now see my dear students, when the first and second letter of each of the word is interchanged, okay, when the first and second letter of each of the words are interchanged, it becomes CTB, it becomes CUYQ, it becomes FIL, it becomes NBND, it becomes NDNU. It becomes 
T A N T. So the number of meaningful word is only one cat. The number of meaningful word is only one cat. Okay. Next, next, my dear students, hurry up. If each consonant is changed to its previous letter in the alphabetical series, okay. If each consonant is changed to the previous letter in the alphabetical series, quickly. Now see, if each consonant is changed to its previous letter, okay, each consonant is changed to its previous letter. So, S, B, A, okay, then over here, X, P, over here, E and K, over here, A, M, C, over here, C, M, over here, B and S. If each consonant is changed to its previous letter in the alphabetical series and each vowel is changed to the next letter, U, V, J, U, V and B, how many words contain at least one vowel? How many words contain at least one vowel? So, this word contains at least one vowel, not this, yes, this contains, this contains, not this, not this. So, there are two words, there are two words which contains, sorry, three, three I have circled, no? three I have circled, three words which contain at least one vowel. All right, everybody. Fine. Yes or no? Yes or no, my dear students. Next. Quickly. If words are arranged, according to alphabetical series from left to right okay words are arranged according to alphabetical series from left to right then first one a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t u v w x y okay so my dear students 1 2 3 4 5 6 so my dear students if the words are arranged According to alphabetical series from left to right, which word is third from the right hand? Third from the right hand is the fourth one and the fourth one is IFL. The fourth one is IFL, option number D. Next one, hurry up, the next one. If each of the letters in each word are arranged according to alphabetical series from left to right. If each of the letters in each word is arranged as per alphabetical order from left to right, okay. If each of the letters in each of the word is arranged according to alphabetical series from left to right, and the first and second letters are interchanged in each word. First and second are interchanged. So it becomes C, B and T. It becomes U, Q and Y. It becomes I, F and then L. It becomes D, B and then N. It becomes N, D and then U. This becomes C, A and then T. And then it is telling you how many meaningful words will be formed. Only one meaningful word will be formed and that is cat. Cat. All right, everyone. Fine. Now, the next one, hurry up, quickly everybody.
if the last letter of each given word is changed to the next letter okay so the first two letters will be same the first two letters will be same throughout the first two letters will be same there is absolutely no change over there the first two letters are same and absolutely there is no change over there okay so if the last letter of each given word is changed to the next letter so a b is changed to c u q is changed to uh, r this is l is changed to m d is changed to e u is changed to v and t is changed to u if the last letter of each of the given word is changed to the next letter according to alphabetical series how many words contain more than one vowel how many words contain more than one vowel this word no no more than one vowel more than one vowel only one word which contains more than one vowel only one word the last one more than one vowel all right a c u and now finally this is your homework question this is your homework question you will solve this and answer it under the comment box i repeat you would be solving this and you will answer under the comment box yes or no yes or no guys okay so with these words we come to an end of the session again i will request again i will plead you that's what all i can do that please if you want to study in proper english medium we have launched this english medium prep by example for all of you our dream is to reach even those families which are more comfortable in english in comparison to hindi our dream is that in the coming years every family in this country should be associated to example in some or the other way okay so we want to bring a revolution using pen in this case due to technology it's a stylus okay so if you want to prepare in total english come at morning 8 am monday to friday attend these back to back classes of english reasoning science g and maths respectively and then again attend these back to back classes on english science reasoning maths and ga respectively all right everyone getting it and now with these words we come to an end of the session i hope you all really enjoyed the session i hope that it, the purpose was served thank you guys for your support for your cooperation today's after attending today's class it was like a bouncer for all of you i know even when you purchase a new mobile phone initially it's very difficult when you join a new organization when you go to a new place it's very difficult at the beginning but gradually with some of the patience with dedication with hard work with discipline you settle down and that is where growth begins growth happens or in other words growth begins in uncomfortable zone please remember this okay and therefore from next class the level will be easy and we will move ahead topic wise as we do as we do topic wise okay thank you everybody have a great day and god bless you